Okay, so when you start a module, this is the page that you will see. So right now in this course that I've created, there's nothing in this course. So if we click on the home screen, we're not gonna see anything. If we're able to go down here on the left side hand side and click on modules, like I said, this is the page that you would see. Okay, so before we dive into modules, how to create modules and assignment groups and et cetera, I'm gonna go back over to here and show you a module that I've already created. So this is a class that I'm teaching right now. I teach eighth grade science. And as you can see, we have a bunch of different modules, okay? Within each one of these modules, we have assignments, quizzes, tests, discussion boards, etc. So think of a module like a unit. Now you can break these units into different um, categories if you'd like. So a single module like this module here covers this standard in my class. So like I said before, we have our warm-ups here. Each, for each day, we have assignments, um, we have resources, we have tests, quizzes, discussion boards within each one. You can also split modules up into days or if you'd like to, weeks or months, okay? So I choose to split it up depending on the unit that we're doing, but you can do it any way you would like, okay? So if we go back here, Let's look how we create a module. Now I'm gonna create a couple different modules to show you what it could look like um, in different ways. So we're gonna go up to the module tab here on the left-hand side. You're gonna click either here or create module. Okay, so just for ease, let's call this module number one. And add module. Now, at this point in time, if you already have content created in your Canvas course, assignments, quizzes, tests, discussion boards, etc. You can put those things in this module. In this course right here, I have nothing, so I'm gonna create everything from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna come up right up here. There's a couple different things that we have here. So we have this publish button. Now, if this is unclicked, that means that the students cannot see the content. Now, this is really helpful for you as a teacher because you can create content and then unpublish it, not allowing students to see it until you want them to. Now, if I was to turn this on, Everything underneath this green button here, students will be able to see. So right now, obviously, if students were to log on, they would only be able to see this right here, module one, because there's no assignments or anything under here. Okay, so let's create a couple. So I'm gonna go to the plus button here. Now, this drop down menu allows me to, to create assignments, quizzes, files, pages, discussion boards, text headers, external URL tools, and then external tools. Okay, so we'll go through a couple of these things to show you what it might look like. So let's say, for example, we wanted to create an assignment. So we're gonna go to assignment. And then normally in a course, if I have assignments created, I'm gonna have a list of my assignments under here that I can choose from. So for right now, I'm gonna click new assignment. And let's call this assignment 1.1 assignment. Okay. I'm going to go add item. So we've officially created our first assignment. Now, let's go back to the publish button here. The publish button, so this module is published, but this assignment is unpublished. So if a student was to log on right now, what they would see is they would see this gray module one. So they'd be able to do this but they wouldn't see any content underneath it because we have not published it. So let's publish that guy. Let's create a couple other assignments. So instead of an assignment, let's create a, um, let's create a discussion. And we're gonna call this one. So this is an example. This is a discussion that's already been created. Okay, so I could create a new discussion here, or I'm gonna choose an existing discussion that already exists. So I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna say add item. And I'm just gonna add a couple more things. So this time, let's go a page. So we're going to click new page, and we're going to go 1.1 page. So here's how this might look. In a class, we might have, um, we have module one, we might have for a single class, the student is to finish the 1.1 assignment, the 1.1 discussion, and the 1.1 page. Now let's say, for example, the page is a resource, so let's move this up page up so that the students can click on that first. So students will click on the page first, and then do the assignment, and then the discussion, okay? And then, I'm gonna add one more assignment. Let's call this assignment not 1.1, but let's call it 1.2 assignment. Okay, and I'm gonna add another one. Instead of 1.2, let's call it 1.3. Okay. 
So as you can see here, there's many different ways that you can um, that you can organize this. I've chosen to use the 1.1 system. Okay, so 1.1, 1.2, and then maybe at the end we put a quiz or something like that. Okay. So as you can see, let's go back to the publish thing again. This module is published. The only thing that students will be able to see at this point is is 1.1. Okay, because the rest of these are unpublished. So let's say, for example, I just wanted to publish the 1.1 assignments. I'm going to put all those green. The next day, we're going to do the 1.2 assignments or the 1.3 assignments. We're going to leave those unpublished until the kids get to them. Or you're welcome to publish everything as you go. Okay, so we can close modules like this as an organizational tool, or we can leave it open. Let's create a different module. Okay, so let's just call this module two. Okay. So modules always create, and they always create, when you create modules, they always go to the bottom. Let's do this one like I do my normal class. Okay, so I'm going to create an assignment. I'm going to call this um, two, I'm going to call this module two uh, warmups. So in my class, I always keep all the most relevant things that we're doing. So the things that we're doing in class today at the very top. So go back here real quick and we click on this guy. As you can see, when students are in my class, if we were on this module here, they would click on the warmups first and then right underneath that, they're gonna go to the day, okay? So this is just, what this is, is this is just a page. So if, if you were to click on this, you would see the standards that we're gonna do for the day and then the things that we were gonna finish, okay? So this is nice for kids because it helps break it up. So we're on an AD schedule. So I have day 36, November 20th, that's an A day. The next day is the 23rd and that's a B day, okay? So let's say, for example, let's click on this one. Again, I have my standards here and they're linked if the kids wanna click on them. And then like today we will accomplish these three things, okay? So if a student's absent from my class, it's pretty easy, okay? So again, they'll know that to go to the warmups and you'll notice that the days are in order. Okay, so the day that we're doing, the most recent day that we're doing is at the top. Okay, so no student has to scroll. So if they were gone for the day, they would know to click here, and then they would go to that to-do list. If they were gone for two days or three days, they would know, okay, so I was gone on November 18th. That's day 35. I'm going to click on this. Okay, I have to do those things. I'm going to click on that right there. Okay, or if I was uh, gone on day 34, it looks like we did one, two, three, four, five, six things. Keep in mind, not all of these things were assignments. These were these were um, resources here, okay? So this breaks it down really easy for students so that they know where to go. So let's build one of these as an example. So we've created our module one. That was one example. Let's create a module two. So I'm gonna come here and instead of going to assignment, I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna go to text header, okay? So we can call this whatever we want, okay? So we can say, um, so we can use the system that I use. So we can say this is day five, and then we can say October 25th, okay? So all this does is this is just a text header. So all this does is it just breaks it up, okay? So like I do, like, what I like to do in my modules is I like to have a text header, and then underneath, I like to have all the assignments for the day. Okay, so let's just do this. Let's go back to assignment and let's just use the same system as we're using before. Let's call this um, 2.1 assignment. Okay, and again, when you create content in Canvas, it always brings it to the bottom. Let's go new assignment. Let's call it 2.2 assignment. Let's just make a couple of these guys. 2.3 assignment. And then let's say the 2.4 assignment was not an assignment, but it was a discussion board. So let's call this guy 2.4, 2.4 discussion. Okay. Right. We have a couple of different things here. Um, okay, so here's how this might look. So we have our 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 disc, or we have our our um, we have our. Uh, We have our text, sorry, our text header here. And then underneath that, we have the assignment that we're gonna do, okay? So this is almost, this is only really good when you have multiple assignments. So let's go here. So let's go, I'm gonna go to discussion. Let's call this 2.1 discussion boards. So we have a couple different things. Okay, so 
we might have under day five, we might have 2.1 assignment and then 2.1 discussion board. Let's add a couple more text headers here. So let's go day six. This is, let's call this October, oh, what was it, 26th. Okay, let's go day seven. Seven, this is October 27th. Okay, so now here's what we can do. We have our text header and then our assignments. And then we're going to move these guys up to where they go. Now, this makes the organization a lot better. Here's one other thing that you can do to make it even easier. Okay, so again, you can move things around like you want to. On this very right side, we have a couple different options. We cup down on the snowman menu. Our options are this. What we can do is we can indent so it's a little bit easier to do or easier to see. Now, I like to indent my assignments three times. You don't have to do that. You can do it as many times as you'd like. But I find that three times makes it visually a lot easier for students to see. So I'm just here indenting my assignments three times. Okay. So now oh, we're going to have to drag this guy up here. So we have, looks like we have an extra one. So let me just remove this guy real quick. So now we have a Canvas page that's really easy to see. Okay, so we have day five, October 25th. So if a student was gone, they would know that they needed to do these two things. The 26th, they would do these two things. Now, going back to what I said before, I really like to keep everything that we're doing recently at the very top of the page. So let's say, for example, we were on day seven. I'm going to put everything just in the beginning, in the morning, right before school starts. I'm just going to move everything right to the top of the page. Okay, so this is going to make things a lot easier for students because they don't have to scroll down to the bottom of the page to access their information. Okay, so we have day seven, we have 2.3 assignment, day six, 2.2, and so on and so forth. Okay, so as you can see, there's lots of different ways to build Canvas modules. Okay, um, certainly this is a way, this is a way, um, the way I've done it here is a different way. Um, and there's really infinite different ways to build it. But the key here is to reduce the amount of friction for students. We want to make it easy for them to see visually so that they know um, so, so that they know where to go specifically. Okay, so one last tip I'm going to give you guys. Just like I said with the warm-ups, or sorry, just like I said with the assignments, it's important that everything's on the top. So if we were already done with module one, what I might do is I might put module one down here and I might move. I can't move it. Why can't I move it? 